What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with another Seven Kingdoms Total War Battle for you. They've done a new mod, uh, well a new update to the mod, uh, redoing the whole, all the factions, making them look more fresh and just fancy, including adding the Night King, which I'll show off in another video, along with the Golden Company, which do feature in this video. If you've probably seen the title, I'm sure I've slapped it in there. But um, we'll quickly look at the Unsullied, which have got a, well they, they look slightly new. Um, it's been a little while since I played the mod, so I cannot really remember. But I mean, they do look very nice and fresh. They have changed units, so there's now no elite unsullied, but there are still the pikemen, which are uh, looking very, very fine. And I did see this on the battlefield because we're in the desert, and I th because I thought, well, Essos, you know, where the unsullied and the golden company fought the most, let's do it in the desert. There's a load of wolves. I mean, that's perfect for like the unsullied support in like. House Stark as well as like House Targaryen, but I mean, so it shows that sort of allegiance. There's wolves, maybe they're gonna come and fight because they're actually dire wolves, who knows? But um, yeah, I just thought that was quite funny. But um, so I'll quickly go go over what we have. I'm playing as House Targaryen again, just the AI, just to show off um, the Golden Company. Um, so they got the, got the Dothraki Blood Riders, I'm pretty sure these guys are very much the same as they were before. Um, yeah, these guys look very similar to be honest. They uh. I mean, they look very, very scary. They, look, and they also look very serious, which is a bit scary. We've got um, Grey Worm here in the back as our general. I'll try and find him. Here he is. There he is. Has an interesting end to it. I mean, it looks, I, his model, I think, looks a bit off more than it did in the uh, original one, but I'm not going to complain. I mean, he's kind of like, kind of turns into a bit of a villain at the end, just denying uh, John what he should have and that. Here we have Jorah Mormont as an, as an extra character. He looks so right. Looks very much like Ian Glenn. And then we'll quickly have a look at what we're all here to see, which is clearly the elephants, which we never saw in uh, Season 8. So here we are. Here are the Golden Company elephants. They look... The riders just look very fine, to be fair. Look at that guy. He looks excellent. Excellent armor. But yeah, here are the elephants in their golden armor, of course. They look. We have the uh, CGI budget, unlike... Uh, HBO to be able to put them in because you know they couldn't do that. I'm very bitter. I'm very bitter inside But we've also got some gold cloaks. So I thought well They basically Need some extra stuff because they are lacking is the golden company. It's only about four or five units They're just really spears shield uh, Spears swords elephants um, Harry Strickland, I think is the their general and um, I think longbows as well, of course, so they have near enough everything, but they haven't got cavalry So I gave them some uh, some gold cloak cavalry. I think there's some gold cloak spears thrown in as well. So we'll quickly have a look at these guys as well. Uh, here are the swords. I mean, they all look very similar. They all have the same armor. It's just different with swords and shields. But um, Swords and shields. Um, just short swords. Get that right eventually. But yeah, so look at that. I mean, they look... I don't know if that's the their actual emblem, but that looks very cool if it is. Um, that, that shield just... Look at all those skulls. Those golden skulls. And then the armor looks just straight out of what they had in the series. It's excellent. The spears, like I said, just the same, but with spears. Looking absolutely amazing, though. Look at like that. Rank after rank after rank of them. It's going to be insane to do some battles um, on this mod. And if anyone wants to do any, please let me know in the comments if they want to see do some battles together. Or, uh, yeah, and I will try and organize it, to be honest. I'd love to try and do some with the community. Um, because it's more fun than just playing the AI, to be honest. I mean, archers as well, they're looking great. Their bows, oh, look at the detail on them, they look great. And then, I think this over here, one of these, it might be this small cavalry unit here. This is Harry's, oh no, we have Jamie Lannister also on the battlefield. Okay, I must have just put, slap Jamie, oh yeah, Harry Strickland um, is not a uh, general unit, so you can't actually make him a general unit, so I had to put in Jamie, which is kind of okay. But here he is anyway. He looks okay. He looks his model looks uh, pretty accurate to what he looked like in the series. That's great. So we have him as well. So let's start the battle while we are away because I'm pretty sure there's just a lot of movement. So um, as the AI brought a load of defenses, which you're going to see, you're going to bite them in the ass for stupid reasons. But we'll uh, see what happens. I'm going to fast forward it quickly because there's a lot of uh, just moving up because the AI just sits there and defends. And um, so I've got to do a lot of moving. So we can... Oh, yep, yeah, there you go. The wolves are going. They're going. Go on. I can't remember all the names of them, but uh, you basically just got Ghost left at this point by, se by Season 8. And even then, he doesn't really feature that much, um, which is just a tragedy. 
But I mean, look at the Unsullied here. They're getting ready to go. Let's have, look at these boys marching off to war. Off to war they go. Beautiful. To war. Kill them all. Yeah, I'm not really sure if these guys would have fought. Um, there's like any record of these guys fighting each other in Essos. I mean, they um, kind of do in Westeros. But I mean, it kind of just comes down to the dragon killing them all. Look at these guys. This looks insane. Looks amazing. They've done a really good job of the of this mod. Um, I'm going to just keep fast forwarding because I'm pretty sure uh, they just sit there for ages. But if you want to see more Seven Kingdoms uh, action anyway, guys, I will, uh, I'm happy to do so. Just let me know in the comments and show it in the likes as well. It really, really helps to show me what people are enjoying. Um, yeah, I've basically had a bit of a, I've had a bit of a chaotic week to be honest. Uh, personally so the uploading schedule has kind of just like hit everything just hit the fan and it just got shredded so i've kind of just uploaded what i can and what i wanted to uh when possible like the eu4 campaign um i will be trying to keep that one coming out as when possible but um it's obviously l lacking in uh popularity at the moment so for now i am probably going to it's going to be at the bottom of my list of what to do but if people want to see it again just let me know in the comments um but yeah so we're look, looking like, I think we might be ready. Uh, no, the wolves are still running around doing a load of manic stuff though. Look at that. And they look like, the, look at this huge infantry block that's been formed here by, uh, I guess you call them the, the uh, enemy? Well, yeah, well, the gold cloaks and the Lannisters basically. Even though there's no Lannisters really here. So I decided because obviously they put huge fortifications up, I put my cavalry all the way around the side because it's suicide sending them through. And here we go, because this is what happens when you put stuff through. Elephants just die. So the AI kills one of its elephant units straight off the bat. Poor R.I.P. Look at that face. That is a, that is a sad face. That is a face of... I've just been wasted. And uh, I've come across a, lo a long, large sea to die. And this guy's not even died yet. He's like, yep, yeah, I'm going to just stay here and uh, we're going to survive. But anyway, we're missing a charge over here. So the elephants charge in here. Oh, God. Okay, we're still on fast forward. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so we've got missed, slightly missed the elephant charge, but we can see them in combat now. So I'm going to commit a lot of them, so they just swarm them, as you do in just like normal um, Attila and Rome 2, or any game with elephants. Just swarm elephants with men, and they can't block every everything that you stab. And Jamie Landis has also been committed. I mean, look at those so the shields. They look very fine and red. They've not these guys clearly not seen war. They've literally just been on ceremony duty all year. And now they're getting caught by more of my Unsullied. And the elephants here, how many of them left? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's a full unit. I can't see any dead ones out of this unit. So, yeah, this will, this unit might stand a little longer. Um, Jamie Landis is uh, running off and he's been chased by some Unsullied. Oh, there goes the first elephant. One down. Two down. Okay, as I said, that this is a healthy unit. Two have already gone. And I think they're breaking. Wow, elephants breaking instead of going manic that's interesting but they killed a fair few unsullied i mean there's a lot still getting up um so possibly wasn't worth it as always you need to send elephants in with infantry support and anyway we're missing the rear there has been a huge charge by uh, my dothraki into the golden company's flanks they've killed a lot of uh, the gold cut gold i was about to say gold company gold cloak cavalry there's a lot of gold going on right now which is gold cloaks gold company golden company it's just, it's just manic. Golden hair of Lannisters. And here they come again. Mad Lannister. Oh no, this is Gold Cloak Cavalry. Jesus, that's a very depleted unit. And my uh, horse, my Dothrak in the rear are doing some damage, but not as much, to be honest. Harry Strickland seems to be a fairly strong unit, and he's been supported by some infantry now. These Gold Cl Company swordsmen. So uh, these Dothraki are probably doomed a bit. But now the elephants came back for a second attempt, and they died doing so, so... That's unfortunate. Also, it looks like Jamie Lannister is running around in the rear and he's just going to try and harass people. But anyway, let's try and get a bit of the uh, infantry cl clash and let's see what that's going on. Um, just show off the units, to be honest. it looks just They just look amazing. There's not much to say, really, more than that. But, I mean, I, it's a shame we don't see the Gold Company uh, feature mortal in the, uh, like, in the series. They're just, like, they're mentioned quite a bit in, like, the series that come before. And then all of a sudden they just get burnt to a crisp and that's it. They're clearly just bad writing. Ran out of ideas and what to do uh, with these guys. But I mean, okay, there's been some reshuffling. These spears, I mean, they're just outranged with the huge pikes. 
and they're being outmatched as well than Sullied. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a massacre to be honest. Oh, that is yeah. Look at that, just stabbing after stabbing. Everyone getting stabbed in the neck. These guys won't stand long. Um, over here, what's going on? We got we pushed right in to their lines, and we're taking out uh, some swords back here now. This poor guy just died on the ground. R.I.P. I mean, it just looks like we're getting, we're overwhelming them. I know it's the AI, but I mean, even the Golden Company you would have thought would still be very good. AI or not, would still be able to stand against these Unsullied, but apparently not. These guys are just overwhelming them. Um, I will definitely be doing another video on uh, the Seven Kingdoms on this mod soon to show off the Night King probably, um, see what he's doing and how strong he is because I've heard rumours he's OP. I've heard, but um, I could be I could be mistaken, but I think he is. Okay, we have basically broken everything back here. Dothraki are breaking. Oh, my Dothraki are broken over there. Interesting. I'm also just getting shot. I'm just allowing these archers to shoot me. I think the battle is almost over. There's not very much left. There's, this is the last stand of infantry. It's a very quick battle because uh, AI just doesn't know how to fight in this mod. It's just, it's so bad. But look at them, they are very congested now. I think this also is the final update that is being done for this mod. It's in honour of the final series. Um, whether they'll do a like another separate mod for like obviously the spin-offs that's going to come, who knows? They may not. They may just, like just want to dust themselves clean of uh, Westeros entirely, which I respect because obviously you spend a lot of time in that sort of world. Eventually, you are going to get tired and worn out from it. Want to do something different? But who knows? Anyway, look at these guys. These guys just ready to break. They're just they're running off. They don't even care if they get cut down now. The Golden Company are like, we're not even paid. We've not been paid in weeks. Let's go home. It's not worth fighting these men with no penises and mad men on horses that shout. And the gold cloaks have just, they're not even real soldiers. They just, I don't even know what they are. They're just like townspeople. But these guys, I don't even know. They're, yep, they've all broken, I think. Yeah, these have all broken. And I think the battle is won there and then. So we're running them down. So we'll quickly have a look at the end game results uh, and see what uh, did well, basically. But it's just really to show off. It wasn't really supposed to be a battle. It was just showing off all the pretty units of the Golden Company. So anyway, um, Unsullied Spears. So this unit did very well. I mean, all these units were just excellent because look at them. They barely take much damage. The Dothraki Blood Riders here, the only ones that really take any damage. Grey Worm was... Only getting 10 kills, but he was right into the breach, so clearly he was either getting focused down on some cavalry doing well because they're just mopping up stuff. Um, the elephants, one didn't even get any kills because it just killed itself, and then the other one got 60 kills. And it wasn't even in the battle very long. If they supported that with infantry, that could have been like 200, 300 kills if they supported that because they elephants just need support with infantry. Always remember that. That's the, my only tip I can give you. <laughs> but yeah, I, if you've enjoyed watching this, um, video then please leave a like and subscribe for more seven kingdoms uh action and other battles in other mods including rise of mordor i plan to do a lot more of that and uh, probably rome 2 as well a lot more rome 2 coming out some good mods for that and uh, the vanilla game obviously is still very good so yeah until next time guys leave a like and subscribe and bye for now